Hey guys, James Frick here with MLC CAD Systems. In this uh, tech tip video, we're going to show you how to utilize sheet metal forming tools. Um, we created the custom one here in the previous video, and now we're going to use them uh, to make copies, that type of thing. So we're going to use the same exact um, forming tool, our one, two, three, four. I'm going to drop it onto this face. And I'd like to turn it 90 degrees from where it's at right now, okay? And then I'm going to take the position, and I'm going to pull it down here just a bit, all right? And I'm going to pull this one down just a bit. And I can, I can copy it like this right now if I need to, okay? No problems. But we can position it however we want to. We can, uh, when we're dropping it, we can push it or pull it, our choice, and and go from there. Once I get the initial placement done, dimensioned and, and otherwise, then it's just like any other feature inside of SolidWorks. I can sneak up here to my patterning tool. I can grab a particular edge that I want to pattern from and tell it what feature I want to pattern and crank it up from there and maybe i only need three of these right and i can go from there so once you develop it customize it to suit your needs then we can pattern it push it pull it um, anything that we need to do with it at that point um, i can drop it here i can flip the tool i can also when i'm dropping it if I care to do so, I can um, also run my tab button here to toggle the orientation of pushing and pulling. So that's how you utilize your sheet metal forming tools, patterning them, flipping the opposite direction, that type of thing. And so you can go from there. I hope this video helps you utilize your sheet metal forming tools after you've created a custom one or using a standard one.